Today we're going to be replacing the indicator lamps and the UV meters of this Marantz stereographic tuner. I'm trying to get it ready for eBay. I want to show how simple it is to replace the bobs. What we first do is we take an 8 millimeter socket and make sure not to go the whole way back in because you don't want to mark up the front of the tuner. And you turn it carefully until it gets loose a little bit and then you take it out the rest of the way with your fingers to keep from scratching up the unit. And you repeat that for the other corner screws on the front. Now let me put this put down the camera real quick so I can show you how it comes off after all four are removed. See how the front's getting all loose? I have one screw left. I'm trying to hold it up so it doesn't fall. Then we just carefully remove the faceplate. And we lay it off to the side. And what we find next is where the indicator meters are. We have four screws we got. And they're all a Phillips screwdriver head. All we do is we take our Phillips screwdriver. Let me lay it on the camera real quick and we remove those four screws. Sorry about that, I knocked my camera over. Give me one moment while I grab a different Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I'm back. Now I got one that actually fits into the screw better. The other screwdriver wasn't quite fitting properly. And I didn't want to round out a screw or mess up the screw. Especially since I'm getting it ready for eBay. Now I got the other two on the other side to take out. And it's just over the metal bracket that holds in the, the UV meters is what we're doing. So I got one, two, three out, and we got the fourth one left right there. What we want to do is we want to hold the meters up in the air as we remove the last one so they just don't go falling down. Make sure not to lose any of your screws. You'll need them to put it all back together. See, now we go, and here, right here, look, the meters are just falling forward. I want to make sure they don't go smacking on the table. We're messing up. You can see the two old bobs in there. This one here was still working. That one there was burned out. But since they're both older, I'm going to go ahead and take both of them out. And just remember to have this unplugged and turned off when you're removing these lamps. I don't want to see anybody getting shocked. What I do is I use a little bit of my screwdriver to help to pop it out and then I just pull it out. And there we go, an old lamp. So I need the corner a little bit to help pull it out, and then I just pull it out. Now I have the new ones here, which it's not good to really to touch the glass because they'll burn out quicker. So you're better off to put them in using a paper towel. 
like so. What you want to do is just barely grip onto it. Make sure the paper towels are out of the way. And of course I dropped it. Give me one moment. Let me lay down the camera. It's easier to do with two hands. And you pop them back in like you're replacing a fuse. See, the one there now is brand new and in installed. Now I got one more to put in. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do it at the same time. Now we have two indicator, brand new indicator lamps, and here we have the old ones. Look how shiny they're getting in the middle from heat. Now what we need to do is put the UV meters back in place. What we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully line them up the best we can up in the air where they belong. See, holding them up, and we got that metal plate we have to put over top of it and hold. Then we have to start to install a screw. Actually, we're gonna get the metal piece on top of them. Get them centered in the metal piece like so as you can see here i got it lined up now i'm going to take one of the screws and start it in the hole and all we do is we put the screw all four screws back in As you can see, I got one in now. I'm gonna put one on the other side. I'm gonna do a cross corner though. I'm gonna put the screw back in up there. Now I gotta put the last two screws in. And you can also clean it while you're under here, like clean any dust behind the, the face. This one here is awfully clean to begin with. I don't have to do any of that cleaning. Right now I got three of the four screws in the front. Make sure they're all tightened properly, but not overly tight. And there we go, we got all four brand screws back in. Now all we have left to do is put the faceplate back on. What we do is we line it up carefully with all the little buttons and just push straight back on it. And then all you do is you take all four corners and you start putting them back in. And you finger tighten them at first, and then you come back and you turn them ever so slightly with your eight millimeter socket. Don't even really have to use a, a ratchet either. All you do is you just barely tap it because you don't want to strip out the holes. And here we go. We got all four corners put back on. I just want to tighten them ever so slightly. They don't push the socket on the whole way because you don't want to mark up the front of their unit. Whenever you turn it, you just keep it a hair off the back, and then you just t tighten them a little bit. And as you can see now, the front of the unit's all back together. In my next video, when I show you show it working to you, you'll see how both UV meters are lit up properly. Thank you and happy bidding.